look at me, I'm Dara, I'm a big stone cold cowboy trucker. Look at me, backing it like a boss. Oh, hey Dara, hey Dara. By Dara. Other than his By blonde Dara. hair and green eyes and Where the fuck is he? Imagine I tell that lad's gone down to P Vise without me. What a prick! Now we've no service and we can't contact each other. But still, what a prick! Oh look at the boys, they're migrating. They're migrating nearly this year. They're migrating now, are these mad bastards? Way is this gonna work out? Well, they're nice and clean anyway. And they look well fed, like most lovely cows, cattle, whatever. Mad horns in the side, look. Look. Let's say hello to them, see, we, see what the crack is. How are we going? I won't touch the Jeep. Maybe they're going on to pee boys as well. Come on now boys. Come on in off the road. In off the road. The Illuminati member that owns them is probably driving around looking into everyone else's field. How are we going? Hey be careful there, don't fall. Break your ankle. Oh look, more of your friends. More of them. This is their stupid cunts. Oh, the one heavily in calf squirt, show you how rare. Good luck, say hello to your mothers for me, won't you? Hey! Come, <laughs> come. Get all these tickle your belly. All right. <laughs> I'm so happy to get this today. Look at that. I'm not even a hundred percent sure what it's for. Roughly know what it's for, but I needed it for the podcast room. Let's do the cameras, audio. Nine hundred pop. Let's say we're gonna do something. Do it right. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Did you do a piss yet? Yeah? Oh, he's no interest. It's the moon. I'm sure, it's like the middle of the day over here. Cheese for omelette. What did you say, Claire? How much egg do you use for an omelette? It depends how many people are eating the omelette. Thank you. How many people are eating it? Uh, um, yeah, I haven't been on much in the last few days because I'm flat out. Doing stupid shit. Probably going to be all wrapped up now in another way. All, of course, got to do with the international e commerce business in the podcasting room. So looking forward to getting that sorted so I can get back to fucking normal. Come on. You only have to get an the shower, you'll get sick. You can't run around playing soccer. I'm not sick. Hey, what do you think of the moon? I'm showing you that. Do you like it? Yeah. It's bright, isn't it? It's like the sunrise. It is. Come on in. Do it. You have to. We'll get in trouble. We'll get in trouble. Mum. Lily is supposed to be in bed, but she's down here gnawing the ear off me. Um, She's a bump on her head. Show the bump on her head. How did that happen? Clark had bought me, like... Uh, last night, we were in having all the fun games and bants, and we told them two or three times, stop messing, stop messing. Next thing, two of them were bawling and crying, they head both each other. First of all, let me correct you with two things. By the way, it was not last night, it was the night before last night. Sorry, all the days are blending into each other for me now. And, yeah, because you're old, and <laughs> then... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And then, Clark was... Fighting me, he was beating me. You up. were both messing. I was, I was just, I was just saying. There's not a parent that's watching now, just to know what I'm talking about. Oh, the crack has been ninety until they're both I just ball and crying. Because yeah. that really raised me to be strong. <laughs> <laughs>
Lily tried to put me on a guilt trip. <laughs> she says, you never give me anything out of your shop. I, 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 give her, I give her everything that they want out of the shop. I said, <laughs> do you not have a black hat? I goes, want this and I want that and I want that and I want that and I want that and I want that. She's such a dos. Give me, give me. <laughs> Can I have a picture for a dog? No, you can't. You don't need one. You said you'd give her everything. No, give me I have. <laughs> and after doing stock takes and stuff today and I got more stuff in and stuff that I got back that I couldn't sell that some people sent back and there was dirt or something on them and just gonna huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god no I think I found out Anyway look I'm just gonna get her to bed I had to actually take her down to her room and no i said take her down not that she's gonna sleep because she'll probably stay up reading until about 11 o'clock at night and then say i'm like you daddy i don't sleep that much yeah, well you know i'm quicker to go to bed in the morning she's not as quick to hop out of the bed that's for certain i think i'm all swimming i'm only messing i'm only fucking messing anyway like i was trying to say i got my stock in and anyone that was waiting for hoodies they're sent out now you should have them in the next couple of days and the only thing i'm waiting for now is glasses and mugs and then we're sorted i have a few green ones to come in but yeah kind of restocked so i'm sorry about the way i'm sorry about that what else oh yeah I have, do you know what right the rabbit the rabbit we have is driving up the wall he's a nice cunt tonight he's i want to I want to get this and I'm going to restock and do some old stuff here like um I got these back as returns there's a small stain on that it's like fake tan or something on the arm that's a double XL there's a small stain on this could be jizz I don't know you tell me I got back as return can't set it on marker stain on that to be fair that's probably my fault I'm not playing Vicky but there's a hole in the hood of this tiny hole um but you know I'm not going to sell it and you know there's a few little t-shirts the old bass crow ones medium there's larges anyway there's a few little things and then there's four wanky candles i drew that myself wanky candle by david cuddy wanky candle by david cuddy enjoy the aroma of roses sweepy gooseberry flower fill your love nostrils with gooseberry gobble and what you fill up next is up to you long hard day of work too tired to write a wank Relax and enjoy a combination of saucy Irish scents and a little ma Ran out of time there. Anyway, a little bit of magic. Wanky candles have you covered with gooseberry gobble. Light this bad boy and your partner will drop to their knees in seconds. To gobble, you silly. Please don't light this in front of animals or family members. I used to sell these once upon a time and then, uh, you know, copyright issues and stuff. This is fucking brilliant. So they're getting on now. So they're going to take my space. There is, there's the floor. My little bean. Come on over. Well, you know what? I prefer the deaf blind one. You smell lucky. You smell lucky. Like you got his little bath. The poster claims that they were making a photo it's of the best little man. <coughs> yeah. man behind a tree. He is, look. He just so relaxed, look. You are half as good to show the pussy in my face. So slow. Walked out the door to the with a poncy jacket on. John Deere will disown me. Then look, hey, I was only up there one day this week, so what difference does it make? <laughs> Sorry, I thought there was a stink off. It's not, it's just a stank. Took this week off to, just needed to catch up on a lot of things. The shop, get the podcast room finished off. You know, a bit of banking, a bit of tax shy. Just so looking forward to getting back to normal, because hopefully things will get an awful lot easier and getting help with the shop now and getting help with the podcast room so but fuck me 
You know that saying, every day is a school day? Well, every day is a school day. And everything takes ages when you're stupid. But you're always stupid at things you haven't done before. But it also reminds me of school because every day is shy. Can't wait to fucking be finished all this bullshit! Fuck me, you know I drove a lorry. No fucking bother to me. You know, even though I took this week off to do a few things for me, Vicky was quite efficient there, giving me loads of jobs. Before everyone starts bitching now, I'm not driving on the road yet. But when it comes to my podcast, one of the guys that's giving me a real fucking big dig out is Alan Clark, production wise and technology wise, all that sort of bullshit. Because I know fuck all about it. All I want to do is be able to talk shy and let everything else be handled for me. But uh, Alan released his own podcast this week called Big News Coming Soon with Kieran O'Malley. And you should go listen to it, it's very good. I'll pop a link to it. Um, yeah. And by the way, Alan, you have a busy week or two ahead of you with me. I just said something. I said something. Oh, yeah. Thank God, Mammy got this dog. She really does put in the time and effort at it, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. It's all me and you. We do everything. Don't we? I'll get used to it. So it's like been a man. Mom, okay. You see my phone. What did he do for you? Yeah, but why do we have to do the work, the work for, and it's mommy's dog? Yeah, so it's like been a man. I get used to it. We do all the work. Guess what? You know what the funnest part is? What? You don't get any appreciation. Get used to it. Don't invite your coat. <coughs> Look, Vicky's doing something. Always. There's the hound. If I can. We got blue hats. What's the story with that hair yours? It Maybe just won't. I woke up like that. Don't be worrying about it. Who's gonna see it? No. The bear. Thanks. Um, yeah, going out to Galway today. Put the skids in under Gary. You know, because they said, oh, we'll buy a light. He goes, no, I make one. And the war. He's only riding himself because when we're building house, Vicky, we be like, oh. Do something for us. Yeah. Hiya. What did Mammy want? That. The she wants that. No. Are you gonna claim it? It's a t-shirt. That's the rack. T-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> Don't pull that down on yourself. Don't claim that. Yeah. Show me your shoes. Show me. Oh, wow, they are so pretty. Jump. Can you jump in them? Oh my. You're getting really good at jumping. Whoa. That's brilliant. Hey, hey. Go tell mommy. Shush. Bye. Bye bye. I'm nearly ready to hit the road, head to Galway for the evening, but before I go, I have to make a detour to Cabotagle, meet a lad about a dog. Not really a lad about a dog, but that's just secret code language in big business when you want to do big business that you don't want anyone to know about. You know what I mean? That's what that is. I also want to give a big shout out to the Carlo Fire Brigade. Lads, you're fucking legends. You've done a lot of solid today, Andy Bobbins. My good friend Eddie Bobbins, he's a trainee stone cold cowboy. He's five year into a ten year training course and he struggles. He's driving a diamond of doom every day and his day could have been horrific. But you saved him. You helped him. You gave him that little push on his back to make his day a little bit better. So I take my hat off to my proverbial hat. I don't have a hat on right now. And I also want to thank my little brother Gara for breaking the forwarder. Hello, well Gareth. Supposed to go up and do my shifts tomorrow and what? what? Now, Gareth said that it was not his fault, that it was a faulty transmission. And John Deere came out, collected the machine, and dropped an old one. Not our old one, but a older one. And they'll have it fixed in a few days. 
Now, would it have happened on my watch? Look, we'll never know. We'll never know now. We'll just have to just move on from this, won't we? Gara. Oh, and I feel like a right cunt. Uh, the blue hats aren't sold out already. I just forgot to pull them up. I'm sorry. I'm just having to put them up there now. I uh, apologize for that. Oh, the great village of Cabotagal brings back some memories. Still not going on it. Just down in Cabotagal here, good man there, Eddie Stanky. There's Eddie Stanky. <laughs> Me and Eddie were thinking back in the good old days in Eamon Delaney's pub, Dooley's, in Cabotagal there. Eamon, sure. <laughs> He's after coming a long way. Remember when he was young, lad? Got caught with the dog. Shocking. Shocking. Me and Gary are here trying to do a little bit of big business and I've just noticed, I don't know if that was in the design brief that I gave. Where did you get the fishing rod? I found it, but I thought it would be pretty cool because we're in the cabin in the wild. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. We'll catch your dinner. Baby. <sighs> now, this is where the big business is going to go on, boys. I know. Hold on. Hold on. Turn the camera. <sighs> Testing, one, two, hello motherfucker, cracker ass bitches. When Alan comes, he's gonna tell me that's exactly what you don't say. Is that supposed to be that high? Oh no, we'll uh... Ah. Or, do you want to lower? I'll go a little closer. <laughs> that is deadly. Was it higher? Is that gonna fall off the wall? That was an expensive TV. No, oh, that's, that's perfect. That's a great job. There's the light. Good job, isn't it? That's the, exactly the ambiance I was expecting and wanting. Yeah, we're in there. I'm loving the table. You probably can't see it there, but that's sparkly. It's sparkly in it. It's like glass. It's fucking cool. Oh, jeez, that's a... Fairly. Oh, and it comes with its own glory hall. Who's sticking their penis through there? <laughs> Not me, anyway. Would it be big enough? Machine's trying to handle that big tree. I don't think she's gonna. Looks well, though, doesn't it? Well, um... Are you happy enough with this? Yeah, very happy. Just wanted to get it finished now and then yeah, get top and shape. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm looking forward to this. Gary's after doing all this work himself. His bare hands, like everything. Like, and everyone would be always there, oh, Gary's a stupid cunt and he's a dickhead and all that, but he's not. <laughs> he's actually grand. We just went for a drive to my Cullen. Gary's going into the shop there. I let him drive. That's why the seat is in Clark's position. He's vertically challenged, you know? Oh, here he is. Well, you told me an amazing statistic oh, about. Oh, very good. Um, an amazing statistic about my Cullen has the highest volume of working professionals in Ireland for a village. And I checked it on Wikipedia. He left out the part where it said it has the highest amount of rug munchers in Ireland. I, I think that's what they're called. You know, them little moths that the eat the carpet and the claws. Yeah. Pesky little buggers, those rug munchers. <laughs> Let's look, at all the, look at all the goodies. We're after buying GoPros Sam. coming over of arses. What kind of GoPros are they? Um, black ones. See this lad? Number I can't nine. say that. It's really, really dark grey. Oh, very, like, very, 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 very dark We're blue. not racist here. Because everyone knows I hate racism. I don't see colour. Oh, what's the reason for all the boating down, Gary? Well, the table fits directly to the concrete. And since the concrete floor... You're walking around here, you won't put any vibration in the floor to shake the camera. So, no camera shake. Professionalism is, and that is what I want. You can go cracked with the, the old rabbits in here vibrating. <laughs> we no camera shake. We could fuck on the table. <laughs> and there would be no camera shake. There's the boss man. The There's class. the boss man producer now. Isn't it? You my producer. I'm your producer, yeah. <laughs> Am I getting paid for producer? Oh, big bank. That is the job, isn't it? Class. So weird having such a big deal here. <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing one, two, crap for ass bitches. Look at the professionalism of this man. Look. He just said, I'm taking a break. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to write my novel. I, I like to get two chapters done every night. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up. Yeah, sure. Oh, 
Look, see, he's yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm the worst person oh. to, to, be, to be going once. Get into you, Gary. Hmm. Interesting. This is a stray cab. Swivelly, swivelly seat. Right. Okay. Oh, she's purring like a little kid. And she has an oven. Well, she's climbing like a whore anyway. Nowhere to put my fucking coffee. There's no coffee holder in it. What the fuck? What the fuck? And it still moves timber. Nice little side slope there. Is it dangerous? Maybe it's a little bit dangerous. No IBC today. You know how I say it, John Deere's don't break down. Which in most parts is true. But acts of God, fuck up fairy, bastard crows. There's nothing you can do about it. You just deal with it. I take it in my stride. <laughs> We're all in great form today. There's no pandemic. Pandemic's gone. Out the fucking gap. We're all gonna go suck each other's lollipops. <laughs> There's a few people laughing about this. And I can tell you now, I'm driving this a few hours and this is a grand machine. Yeah, I'd rather if it was a swivel cab, but it has about 600 hours less than the machine I had and she's tight she loads of power, she loads of traction nothing's loose yeah the cab needs a bit of a clean but that's it it just needs a clean, it's only dirty nothing broken, and nothing a bit up and shy she's actually a she's actually a grand joke no cup holders though fierce night, oh, there's a bottle holder there's a bottle holder there no, maybe people that I and drive poverty spec 1010s. I mean, straight cab 1010s, drink their coffee and teas out of bottles. I don't know. It's a grand machine. No bad rush. What are you doing? Getting an alarm clock? Yeah. Is that for your bedroom? Yeah. And what time are you going to get up in the morning? I don't know. I don't know when I wake up, so I need someone to help. Well, get that sorted for you. I'm, um. <coughs> 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 